I'm Callie Lewis, and okay, okay, you guys want to see the inside of the data center. This is Geek Brief TV, Brief 495. Here you go. Wow. So basically, we're just in the little entryway here from the uh, elevators, and on the other side of the glass, you begin to see what, the, what a real data center looks like. And the first thing that you'll notice is we are lower than the rest of the data center, okay? These are all raised floors throughout the data center because the air conditioning actually pipes in underneath the floor. And then you'll notice that where the racks are placed, there are uh, vented tiles in the floor that are underneath the racks and what happens is the pressure from the air conditioning system drives the cool air in up from the bottom it pushes up through the servers and the heat goes up from the servers as well right since the heat is rising so we're forcing the cool air in from the bottom as the warm air is naturally rising and that keeps the uh, the, the machinery in the racks cool since you've got so much density you may have 25 or 30 servers in a rack just imagine how much heat comes off of your one little desktop machine well magnify that by 30 or 40 times and that's what you've got concentrated in just one rack and there are hundreds and hundreds of racks so this building has probably as much air conditioning in it as all the buildings nearby you know even for commercial residential use combined when we go in here it gets kind of loud because of all that air conditioning we were talking about so you come up into the raised floors here and uh, if you, if, you stand, if you stand over these holes, you feel the AC coming up out of it? Good thing I'm not wearing a skirt. That's true. <laughs> now you notice that um, there's actually uh, sprinkler systems all throughout the building, but these are what's called dry pipe systems. There's no water in them, because you can imagine water is really not what you want for, uh, for the uh, electrical stuff. But if there was an emergency, they fill with, uh, I think this is a gas system in here, and they fill with an inert gas that floods the facility. You have to get out because it basically removes the oxygen to put out the fire, right? So alarms go off, the people go out, gas comes, puts out the fire, there you go. These are massive UPS systems, so these are battery backups. There's power distribution units. Um, all of these things are designed to get the power very clean and reliably to the racks inside. So if we go inside one of the cages, you can already see the lights are the coolest thing to look at, you know? I mean, all of these servers are live, and this facility that we're standing in has gigabits worth of connectivity con um, taking all of this data for God only knows how many tens of thousands of web servers and database servers and every other kind of server out to the internet or other parts of the world. So let's go in the rack. We can actually see the Woopra servers are right here. They're right over there. We just got to go find the rack that they're in. Even Ellie and John have never seen these. <laughs> ah, behold, Woopra, all of these servers. That's what, that's what it takes to uh, currently monitor over 50,000 websites getting tens of millions of page views per day. So all, if, if it, for anybody out there that happens to be using Woopra, your data resides here, in this building with the giant safe downstairs. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's some of the data center. I have a little more that I'm gonna say for a rainy day. As always, this brief was brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Thank you for using my promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3 when you register domains at GoDaddy. And also, thanks for watching the brief.